Riverside Pain Physicians. All right, to all of you that dread Halloween because you're scared of having to walk around with your superheroes, ghosts, goblins, princesses, we may have some helpful advice for you today. It's information about arthritis, one of the most common complaints of patients with their primary care doctor. And Dr. Scott Kramerich is with Riverside Pain Physicians and he has some advice about arthritis and this affects millions of Americans and I know it affects uh, people in my family. But let's start out by talking about um, osteoarthritis. What is that? What does it mean to have osteoarthritis? Uh, it's a huge problem. Uh, like you said, 27 million Americans. I mean, That's a staggering number. Everybody has some arthritis. It's just a matter of getting older and, and doing a lot with your body. What it means to have osteoarthritis is you have a, a painful, swollen, uh, red joint. It hurts to go up and down steps. It hurts to walk for a long period of time. You feel like a grinding, aching, mm -hmm. cracking sensation in your in your joints. It's usually knees. It can be shoulders. It can be hip joints. Debilitating for it, a lot of people. It, it's kind of an awful thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's talk about if someone's watching right now, what are some of the symptoms that are associated with osteoarthritis? I mean, we kind of alluded to it. It's right. the pain in the joints. Is this a pain that comes and goes? Kind of break down what people at home might be experiencing. I think they're gonna feel uh, less pain when they're resting, uh, but more pain when they're walking around or, or weight bearing. Uh, people who are, uh, are larger, have a larger mm -hmm. body size, might have more arthritis, uh, more pain in the hips and the knees. They have a, a cracking sensation around their, their tendons and ligaments okay. a lot of times. Sometimes there can be fluid. Uh, you've heard of water on the knee. Yeah. Uh, that's sometimes a side effect of arthritis. So they'll have a painful red, sort of swollen, warm to the touch knee or, or something like that. Why do we get arthritis? Is there something that we're doing that causes this or is this just the, the, the getting older? Well, so older people get arthritis because they, they have, uh, they've just been around for a while and mm -hmm. as we age the water content of the cartilage drops and the, and the cushioning function of the, of the cartilage gets just wears worse down. and worse. Yeah, and so we get more and more of the bone on bone sort of grinding. Younger people can get arthritis when they're involved in accidents, uh, when they get injured in some way. Uh, just that trauma, just that blunt, you know, bone smashing, maybe in a car accident or something, can give you some arthritis in joints. So I'm just curious, what does arthritis then look on the inside? What, what I mean, we're talking about what you know you're experiencing on the outside or how you feel. Um, what does it look like on the inside for you as a doctor in your perspective? Have you ever uh, taken a chicken apart and no. you see? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that depends. I don't cook much, so. <laughs> so, the, so the nice shiny white bone ends on yes. the on the chicken. Uh, that's good, nice uh, water-filled, hyaline cartilage. That's what lets the joint glide smoothly uh, as as the as the joint moves. As joints get arthritic, we get more of the uh, the degeneration in there. The the cartilage surface becomes red in and uh, it, it becomes sort of torn down looking really on a microscopic level so it's uh, that that whole joint shock absorber function mm -hmm. of the uh, bones is, is kind of lost. So then how do you diagnose arthritis? I mean is it just if somebody has pain and they come in and it is around the joints I mean it's not oh you assume it's arthritis is there a, a something no, that you do? No that's pretty that, good you just how, okay. made your first arthritis. Oh, well there you go really. hey my day job if this doesn't <laughs> work out. <laughs> we can get x-rays of people but um, it's usually not necessary people usually have a pretty good story I mean anybody that has these kinds of symptoms pain with walking deep aching grinding pain cracking swelling redness fluid around the joint. I mean, the, the diagnosis can be made pretty easily just based upon those things. Uh, we have to get an x-ray or some imaging eventually if things get really bad and we're trying to make decisions about more invasive treatments or like surgery. Yeah, and uh, I think we have a picture of an x-ray that we, we can show. And, and, and you said this is something you would do, though, in the later stages. You would, would come in uh, to your office, We perhaps? might, right. So if, if people try, uh, it, where's our x-ray? Oh, right there. Right, oh, okay. Yep, right over there. If people try to get, uh, do some conservative therapies at home, maybe they're doing physical therapy or they, they avoid weight bearing, but over time you can see on the, on the uh, arthritic knee example on the right hand side, there's a, there's a narrow joint space, there's some bone spurs around there, and so the knee just becomes more and more degenerated. Yeah, and if people uh, you know, think that they have arthritis, I'm sure that you see a lot of people come into your office and they're probably taking over-the-counter pain pills, uh, Tylenol, acetaminophen, uh, medicine, um, you know, uh, ibuprofen, what right. have you, and they've been doing this for a prolonged period of time, and that 
can be really dangerous for the body, I'm assuming. Right. I mean, we, we don't like to take too many of these over-the-counters for a long period of time. We can, you know, we can have stomach problems and other issues with uh, liver and, and kidney. And so we have to be careful with some of the over-counters. If there's a whole lot of pain and the, and the dose instructions like are on the bottle aren't working, it's probably time to see a doctor and think about some other things that we can do to help. And that was going to be my next point. We've run out of time, but I want to just reiterate, if they've done this and they're looking to relieve themselves of this pain, they don't have to deal with it. They can come and see you guys. Absolutely. We might try some gentle injections or a brace or, uh, or something like that. Yeah, there are options beyond yes. having to deal with it every day. Right. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate right. you being here. And thanks so much to the Riverside Pain Physicians for sponsoring this segment. And for more information about pain management, the physicians and their locations, you can go to RiversidePainPhysicians.com or you can call the number on your screen, which is 904-389-1010.